three, two, one, go! Oh, she beat you, Dom. <laughs> oh, I lose it. Kids always win. Hey Meridian, we are here at Discovery Park. I'm here with Parks Commission Vice President, Dom Gelsomino. How's it going? And he's gonna walk us through and just show us little bits and pieces of this amazing park that uh, we have grand opening tomorrow. So go ahead and Absolutely. give us a tour, Dom. Absolutely, well what you've got is we've got our playground section. Playground section has uh, a lot of different critters that are uh, native to Idaho that the kids can look for. They've got uh, panels with the state flower, the state horse, the state insect. I mean, we are trying to really maintain the idea of discovery and education, and the kids have an amazing time exploring the park, exploring these critters, and learning about their state in a very hands-on experience. Uh, what you see below you is an eco-rubber uh, flooring, which is very awesome in many respects uh, compared to the more typical gravel or sand or mulch areas. Uh, one particular aspect that I particularly love about the Eco Rubber is not only that it's safe, but a lot of kids are very sensory seeking and this uh, Eco Rubber is perfect for their uh, you know, jumping and running and it's all, you know, custom It's very bouncy. Very bouncy. It's Just great. to make sure that, you know, everybody's safe, everybody's having a great yeah, you time. Could definitely fall on this and be all right we've got our zip lines obviously we saw uh the right side is a little bit quicker than the left side or the kids are quicker than the adults <laughs> or the kids are quicker than the adults that's for sure um you know it, the the artwork is spectacular and it's so unique uh to discovery park that we're we're very excited for it to be the the premier regional park of south meridian Let's go look at the um, the splash pad. Absolutely. I'm gonna try to not make you guys dizzy on here. Sure. This is a little zone for the littler for the ones. Toddlers, yes. Toddlers ought to have fun too. Yes. And they are. Look yes, at that. They are already working. <laughs> Antlers. Our requirement. Yes. <laughs> so we've got our splash pad area. Um, the splash pad area has several um, locations where you can activate the water. The step on me signs activate the rocks and our unnamed bear, currently unnamed bear. Un unnamed bear right here. Yes, we are having a contest tomorrow about uh, for the best name for the bear. And, uh, and so we're, we're hoping people will participate tomorrow. It'll be an exciting event. So kids can come out tomorrow. They can submit what they think this guy should be named. Yes. And then the winner, I think, even leaves with a, not just bragging rights that they named the Bear at Discovery Park, but they also, I think, leave with a treat as well. Absolutely. And then the tree and bucket water features are activated by the hand, um, hand signal there. So this is where they will activate. Yes. Let's play. So then those started filling up. And once they fill up, they will turn over and it is water palooza. You know, on a hot summer day, this is an amazing amenity for kids, families to just enjoy. I, and you know what? I would venture to say that people are going to bring their dogs to the splash pad too <laughs> until we get the new splash pad in next spring at the dog section. The dog section will have its own splash pad? Yes. Uh, okay, so a... speaking of, let, tell me yes. what I have behind you here. So behind me we have the two off-leash dog areas. It'll be the second official dog park for Meridian uh, next to Story Bark Park. Thank you to Intermountain Pet Hospital. They committed a $10,000 sponsorship for a new splash pad or agility course uh, for the off-leash dog areas that will be coming next spring. Uh, we are still working on the details of that. Sorry, I just got a splash full of water. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we are going to be getting uh, part, uh, 
you know, mostly we're going to be getting that splash pad or the fire hydrants that shoot water. We're, we're wanting to make it very different, very unique, and to meet the uniqueness of uh, Discovery Park as a whole. Which it is. It is such a unique park. Um, like I said earlier, a lot of this, it's not just like kits that they brought in and put together. A lot of it, it was designed specifically for us here, um, stuff you've never seen before. So this is a nice shaded picnic area. And then back there on that side, there are two really big, softball beautiful field. softball fields. Yep. Um, and they are just two that we have in this first phase, yes. but more coming, more in, coming in the next phases. So um, this is the first phase. 27 acres. 27 acres, yep, roughly 27, 27 and a half acres of the total 77 acres that this regional park will be. We are going to be expanding southward uh, into the, you know, fields and, and farming area over there. Uh, I personally have a few projects that I'm going to start introducing to the commission once we get the second phase designs up and running. I personally would like to see a bodybuilding.com outdoor gym facility. Oh. I'm, I'm going to do my best to get another sponsorship for that and, uh, and see if we can get that into the design. Awesome. All right, Dom, so why don't you walk me back to my favorite part of yes. this park. Uh, so again, if you're just tuning in, we are live at Discovery Park, which is located at 2121 East Hazel. And uh, we have a grand opening tomorrow. So our, our city leaders got together today and they did a ribbon cutting. And tomorrow we have invited the entire community out to do a celebration grand opening from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. here at Discovery Park. Yes. And um, that will also have free ice cream at yep. noon until supplies last, so get her early. Yeah. Um, and a DJ, and it's just gonna be a party in the park. Absolutely, and one thing I wanna mention before we get to the rock wall is our sheds are, and gazebos if you wanna call them, they are very unique in the sense that you can uh, rent them not by number or by name, but by color. So oh. it, e it makes the process of renting out the facility a lot easier because you're not guessing which number is that gazebo that I want. It's the red, uh, the red gazebo, the green gazebo, the blue gazebo. So when you're ready to rent your party here at Discovery Park, just give us a call. Say, hey, you know, I want to rent out the red uh, or the green or the blue. Uh, very shelter smart. structure and you are good to go so birthday parties all everything you can do right here in the park um okay so what do we have over here don we have our water feature this water feature and sand feature is going to be one of the highlights especially for kids uh, we have the an irrigation system where each um, pump will pump out water and it's not going to just be lift and go we are wanting kids to really interact and be hands-on so you're gonna have to work for it to get the water out uh, these water systems will really teach kids and family members participants really what how our waterways work as you can see you know we're going to be extending the oh there we go so you gotta work for it there's your gym right there Dom you don't right? you don't need I another one the gym <laughs> we're gonna have kids walking out of here with huge arms so we're going to be extending the nozzles a little bit. As you can see, they're a bit close and they're splashing into the sand, but we're going to be extending these just a bit further. But what the idea is, is and the concept is, is that we're going to get these waterways going. And as you can see, there are several sections where there's dams. And these dams are going to teach kids the way our water systems work. How do dams and rivers and irrigation work? So as the water fills up the, the, the canal, you can either lift or lower the dam and allow water flow to continue or to stop. Uh, you know, for parents, we did think of, we did have you in mind. We do have a foot rinser I may need so that. that you don't have to uh, worry about sand getting in your uh, car or any vehicle that you take your kids in. They've really just thought of everything in this park. Absolutely, we've got our log system. So the log here is tip is technically the start of it all the start of the dam and the waterway system again you got to pump and you got to work for that water so as you can see it's going to go all the way down into the irrigation system and as we get a, a steadier water flow uh, it'll come down at a much better pace 
All right, so kids can come. This is not just a place to come play, um, although maybe don't tell your kids that. They won't even know that they're learning so much in this park. Yes. Um, speaking of, you guys saw a lot of Idaho symbols and um, icons in the playground area, but this is probably my favorite. Yes, and I have to say it's one of my favorite as well. And to be honest, when I first heard about the design, I was thinking of something a lot more a lot bigger but and a state of Idaho a solitary state of Idaho but when the final design came out and I saw that there were the bordering states as well I was really happy really excited about it but we have the easy section the medium section and the hardest section of all out in Washington where there is a little less landscape uh, you know land features that jut out but kids can climb up climb down know and learn about the topography and the geography of the state of Idaho and it's our surrounding neighbors to the east and west uh, as they climb the state of Idaho and this is I mean this is actual 3d topography this here is 3D topography. they are going to use these mountains valleys um, to climb up absolutely this state of Idaho right here and so we've got about 10 feet of rock wall climbing here so if you are just tuning in go ahead and go back to the beginning because we covered a lot but we are here at discovery park um we did our ribbon cutting with city leaders today and we have our grand opening tomorrow so i'm here with dom he is a he is our vice president of our parks commission um and we just want to invite you guys out tomorrow absolutely come out tomorrow enjoy the time with your community members enjoy the time with family uh, we also have a beautiful uh, new pollinator section, a uh, pollinator garden. You know, one of the things we are wanting to emphasize when it comes to discovery is also the discovery of how we can better take care of our, of our ecosystem, of our environment, and, and be good stewards to uh, nature and to our, our community. And having that, uh, that pollinator garden, not only here, but at the community garden in Meridian, in Northern Meridian, excuse me, uh, we're gonna help rebuild that 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 pollination system that is so you know key and critical to not only our survival but the survival of everything. Uh, so I'm I'm excited to see a lot more you know worker bees coming in and pollinating the pollinator garden and seeing what what we can produce out of it. Awesome. All right. Well, I think that that probably covered it. Again, this is just the first phase of this park, but. Even just the first phase alone is enough to uh, make a lot of lasting memories here in Meridian. So South yes. Meridian 2121 East Hazel tomorrow, 11 to 2. There's free ice cream. Yeah. What more could you want? <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.